Hi YouTube, my name is Kendall Blake. I am an artist from Canada. I originate from Toronto, the greater Toronto area, and usually I'm repping my city, but I've been living in Montreal for the past two years, so I mean, I don't know, do I rep both? I don't know, you tell me. So I've had this YouTube channel for some years now, and really I just used it to post projects that I was working on in college and also to post speed drawings but YouTube I never really got the hang of it like that so I didn't post that often but I really want to utilize this page more and post more um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately and I figured well I'm on here all the time might as well you know draw make some videos and I decided I want to use this YouTube to share art tips if I have any, um, to share advice to any other artists or entrepreneurs that I can share, and to talk about general topics as well while I draw, and maybe even to like review some art products because in the future I am planning on buying the iPad Pro. So, some more facts about me. I did mention that I did go to college. I did. I went to Sheridan College in Oakville, Ontario, and I studied for a Bachelor's of Illustration. Maybe I can do a future video about whether I think it's worth it or not to go to college as an artist or to be self-taught. That would be interesting. Um, some more about me. Uh, I post my artwork on Instagram a lot and one of my drawings went viral during the Black Lives Matter protest. I did a drawing of a power fist with pink nails and a pink heart behind it. As you can clearly tell based off my screen, I really do like pink. Oddly enough, it's not my favorite color. Hot joke, I know, but I really do like pink and clearly a lot of other people do too because a lot of people share that image. A lot of cool celebrities that I really like and YouTubers that I really like along with some problematic people too like for example um, Jada I think that's little baby's um, baby mother she shared the the drawing as her picture or display picture Aaliyah J shared the drawing as well um, and then as for like the problematic people, Jeffree Star posted it on his page and I was like, oh, okay, um, cool. It really made me so happy to see that my artwork touched so many people like that. And even if it didn't touch them in their heart in the way that I would want it to, I'm just glad that um, a lot of people liked my art. I have been posting my artwork on Instagram since like 2013, 2014. So I've been playing around a lot with social media, but I've also been very inconsistent. So I've been drawing for years, honestly, even from high school. So I've had a lot of practice with different mediums, different genres as well. Like I played around with photography, I played around with graphic design. I do logo designs, um, like I freelance as a logo designer as well as an illustrator. And I do photo editing as well. Um, so I try not to limit myself as to what I can do because I want to see what I'm the best at. But with that as well comes a lot of experimentation with social media and what's going to work the best for you online. I see a lot of people saying like the best way to be successful as a online blogger, YouTuber, artist, whatever is to have a niche and cater to it. And I'm not going to give you my opinion on that. We can do a video where I give my opinion on that since I don't really have a lot of ideas for videos planned out. But as an artist, like this niche thing, it kind of... Um, gives me PTSD because my whole eight years or how many years I've been doing this the main thing that's stuck in my head is I need to find my style as an artist otherwise I will never do well and I think most artists can relate that it's not really easy to
to find a style when you're first starting out. And when I say first starting out, I mean, like, for me, after doing this for five years, I was like, I'm not new to this anymore. I should have a style. But I didn't. So, honestly, I don't think that's something that you can rush, but we'll get into that. We'll get into that. And, like art advice you know I would love to talk about general topics as well while I draw I just have to figure that out you know I watch a lot of those um, gossip YouTube videos and I know I try not to watch like too much gossip stuff but the thing is I need something to watch while I do my work and that keeps me up to date with what is going on in the media so maybe we can talk about it sometimes Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to introduce myself and give people the opportunity to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then please like leave a comment and let me know um, what kind of things you would like for me to address in videos. Otherwise, I'm just going to do some brainstorming on my own and figure out what kind of things I want to make. Um, content about but I want to make sure that I'm sharing as much valuable information as I can because I do have artists reach out to me on Instagram and ask me questions about like how much do they charge their clients or you know if this situation is to happen what should they do or um, how to turn down a, dif a difficult client that could definitely be something that can be talked about as well there's a lot of things, um, also how to market yourself online, um, the different ways that you can make money as an artist online. There's a lot of different things. So just let me know in the comments below what you would like me to talk about and I will put something together specifically for you. I would love to do that. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you've gotten this far, then wow, I love you you're amazing if you've gotten this far leave a comment below with my favorite emoji can't promise any kind of schedule when it comes to this because this is a new idea and i'm still trying to figure it out but hopefully i can figure out a schedule soon but if you liked this video please subscribe like the video leave a comment add all of that engagement but most importantly subscribe so that you know the next time that i'm gonna post a video thank you so much for watching bye